The Old Man and His Grandson Once upon a time in a small village, there lived a single father by the name Jack. Jack was popularly known as Jack the Jolly by the people of the village. As he was always in a good mood despite of any situation. Howdy, Jack the Jolly. Going fishing, eh? Oh, I would rather swim with the fish than pull them out of the water. <laughs> you are amazing, Jack. Have a nice day. You too, sir. Jack the Jolly, where are you off to? I'm going home. Say hello to little Hansel. I most definitely will. Jack loved his son Hansel, as he was his only person in the whole world. He took good care of his son and never let him feel the absence of a mother. Eat your broccoli, or the giant monster will come and eat it all and become very strong. Do you want the monster to be stronger than you? No, I do not. Hansel, it is time to take a shower. It is so cold today. I do not feel like it. Well, son, if you don't shower, then you will start smelling and no one will be friends with you. Do you want that? No, do not. One day, while Hansel was having his soup off a bowl, he dropped it and it broke into pieces. Poor Hansel started to cry, but his father soon came to console him. Oh, son, it is absolutely fine. I will buy a new bowl for you. Do not worry. Thank you, father. Time passed and Hansel grew up to be a handsome man. Everyone in the village called him Hansel the Handsome. Look, Hansel the Handsome is coming. He looks like a dream. Hey, Hansel the Handsome, want to go get some coconut water? Well, sure, but maybe some other day. I need to attend to my father right now. Oh, Jack the Old, tell him we said hello. I will surely do that. Jack the Jolly was now known as Jack the Old. He had grown old and weak, and the jolliness in him was fading away. But Hansel took good care of him and would make sure he was always by his father's side whenever he needed him. Days passed and Hansel soon fell in love with a girl called Elsie. They loved each other so much that they decided to get married. Soon, with the blessings of Jack, Hansel and Elsie got married. Jack was very happy for his son, but he was unaware of what was coming his way. As a few months passed, Elsie started to show her true colors. She started to draw Hansel away from his father, and soon Hansel was a changed man. All the love and respect he had had for his father gradually diminished as he got more attached to his wife. Elsie would control Hansel and ensure that he fulfilled her whims and fancies. Hansel, where are you going? I'm going to check on my father. I want to make sure that he is eaten. All you do is think about your father. What about me, Hansel? What about me? Don't you have responsibilities towards me? Of course I do, sweetheart. Here, I will sit with you. Happy? And thus, Elsie managed to take Hansel away from his own father. She wanted her husband all to herself and started behaving rudely with Jack. This influenced Hansel as well, as he stopped wishing for the well-being of his father. Your father keeps sleeping all the time. I cannot take the sound of his snoring. Father, be a little careful, will you? And soon, Jack started to feel lonelier and more detached from his son. He had no one to talk to and share his emotions with. A year passed and Elsie gave birth to a son whom they named Harry. Harry brought a lease of new life for Jack. He would play with Harry and take good care of him like he used to of Jack. But Elsie did not like the closeness of Harry and his grandfather. Hansel, you don't love me at all. All your love is only for your father. Nothing like that, my dear. Then why don't you send him away to an old age home? We can't, as this is his house. 
And also, we need someone to take care of Harry. Elsie nodded as she realized that Hansel was right. She couldn't possibly take care of the daily chores and little Harry all by herself. You are right. But I am telling you now, this can't go on forever. I want him out of this house soon. Yes, sure, my love. Eight years passed by since Harry was born, and Jack the Old grew older and weaker. His eyes became dim, his ears dull of hearing, and his hands and knees trembled. His grandson was the only reason that kept him going. Soon, Jack's situation worsened. His hands would tremble so much that he could not hold the spoon properly while eating. One day, while sitting at the dining table, he could hardly hold the spoon and spilt the broth upon the tablecloth. This made the uncompassionate Elsie furious. Oh my goodness, this is an expensive tablecloth that I got from the market. Now who will wash them? Hansel tried to console his wife. Calm down, my love. Calm down? Calm down? Do you know how much I love this tablecloth? Hansel took a deep breath and made the decision that from the next day onwards, Jack will sit at the dining table no more. And so, from the next day, Jack had to sit in the corner behind the stove. He was served food in the earthenware bowl. But Jack's hand trembled, and the bowl fell from his hand and smashed into pieces. Elsie came running to the kitchen. Oh, no! This was an expensive earthenware bowl that my family had gifted me. You old man living off of my husband's earnings and wasting our money. You don't deserve to be served in an expensive bowl. But Jack said nothing and only sighed, looking at the broken pieces of bowl with eyes filled with tears. Meanwhile, little Harry would watch all of this from a corner. Jack was deeply hurt by the behavior of his son and daughter-in-law. Helpless, he would often think about days of the past when Hansel was a child. <laughs> oh, son, it is absolutely fine. I will buy a new bowl for you. Do not worry. From the next day, Elsie and Hansel bought him a wooden bowl for a few half pence, out of which Jack had to eat. But Harry was the only thing that brought a smile on Jack's face. Harry would often come and sat beside Jack till he finished his meal. Weeks passed, and the usual sad life of Jack continued. One day, while Elsie and Hansel were sitting by the fire, they noticed Harry collecting pieces of wood. Look, how innocently our son plays. What are you doing, Harry? Are you building a home for us? No, I'm planning to make wooden bowls for you. Wooden bowls for us? But son, we don't need wooden bowls. Not now, but when you become as old as Grandpa, I don't want you to be breaking earthenware. That's why I'm making them from now onwards. This struck Hansel and Elsie straight into their hearts, for they realized their mistake. Oh, Elsie, what a big sin have we committed. Yes, my love, we have been nothing but cruel and unkind to father. Our little son has opened our eyes. Let us repent and treat him better. And thus, from the next day onwards, they took good care of Jack. They ensured he always ate with them and made sure that he was always cheerful and jolly, just as he used to be. Hansel vowed to always take care of his father. It was his son who had made him realize that one should always take care of their parents when they are old for they take care of you when you are young. <laughs>